Hi, I'm Howard Jones, pastor of the River Church in Nortonville, Kentucky, and this is... My name's Tim Morgan. I'm the pastor of Silent Run Baptist Church in Nebo, Kentucky. And I want Brother Tim to share with you his vision of why we're coming to you today and what we're going to be doing on the 28th of August. Brother? What I'd like to share with you is something that's virtually unheard of in our communities today. I would like to see us come together as a community as Hopkins County and show our law enforcement officials all across the county that we do appreciate what they do for us every day. Most oftentimes we call them in our darkest hour of need and we expect them to be there. Likewise, I think they should be able to expect us to be there for them every day, every moment, back in the blue. Amen. And that's why we are coming to you right now. We encourage everybody in Hopkins County to get this written down on your calendar and plan to be there. And, and we're gonna pray for our law enforcement. We're gonna pray that God will protect them and watch over them. And Tim, tell them how we're gonna do that and what, what the locations are gonna be. What we're gonna do, brother, is we're gonna start out simultaneously gathering together at about 2.15 on Sunday afternoon. That's late enough for most folks to have finished dinner after church and, and early enough to have not missed choir practice. Amen. So we'll gather around at the Hopkins County Sheriff's Office, the Dawson Police Department, the Madisonville Police Department, and the Hopkins County Jail, as well as the Kentucky State Police on uh, 69. We'll gather together starting about 2.15, and at 2.30, we'll begin by reading the scripture together. We're all gonna start with reading the same verses out of Romans, and then we'll break up, we'll have a time of prayer, some uh, additional Bible verses and scripture will be read, and we're gonna focus our prayer needs not only on the officers who are out there uh, putting their lives on the line for us in all weather, all situations, all the holidays, but also their families because their families really sacrifice, yes. particularly today with everything that's in the news that we see. Uh, those, those men and women who are sitting back home with the children truly have the most difficult job. And so we're gonna yes. pray for those families. Uh, we're gonna pray for their equipment specifically. We want those cars, those motorcycles, all those vehicles to be in Amen. absolute tip-top condition. We want their, their body armor to be in the best condition. We want their belts and shoes and uniforms. And we want their firearms to be in working condition. We want everything about these men and women to be girded with prayer and scripture. Amen. And the awesome thing about this, one of the things I'm gonna ask Brother Pastor Tim to share in just a second is who is invited. Now, we already told you where it's gonna be. And the important thing and, and that you need to know is you can go to either one of those places that you want to go. There will be somebody there that's leading that and, and we're gonna be in precision and we believe in our law enforcement. We cannot say that enough. We wanna support them and I know you do too, especially as Pastor Tim said, with all the chaos that's going on on TV and in our world, we need to be there for those who are there for us. But Pastor Tim, right in the beginning, you shared the vision that this is not just about a church. That's the reason you and I are sitting here today Amen. because we have a common bond, and that is number one, we love Jesus, but also we believe in our boys in blue that take Amen. care of us. And you shared just a little bit more about that. So who, when people start thinking, should I go or not, tell us. If you're hearing this message, you should be there Amen. and you should be wearing a blue shirt or blue pants or blue socks or a blue hat. Most of you have got Kentucky stuff. We want everyone to come, whether you're a believer in Jesus Christ, regardless of the church name that's in front of the building that you meet at on Sundays, we want the community to support our law enforcement officers. Amen, and I felt that was very important. You know, in the church world, we all try to do what God's told us to do, and you're of the Baptist belief. We're called interdenominational. I'm not sure what that means, but everybody <laughs> comes to our church uh, from all walks of life. But at the same time in our community, sometimes we want to know if it's a Baptist event or a Pentecostal event or a Methodist. But this is an event for those that serve our community, and we must come together. They must know that we Amen. stand behind them. Amen. I love you, brother. God bless you and your folks. I love you, man. We will see you there that day. God bless. Amen. Amen.